Okay. Uh, we've been considering just some really uh, basic properties of the gamma function. And in this integral, with this video, we want to prove that the gamma function of one half, which would be this integral expression here, n equals one half of the x to the minus one half e to the minus x dx. This is going to equal the square root of pi. And to go about this, first let's consider this. Suppose we had an integral here of say just x dx going from zero to a. Well, that, of course, would just be one-half x squared going from zero to a. Or that would equal just a squared over two. This integral here would equal a squared over two. This integral squared, that would be a to the fourth over 4. Now, to get the integral squared, the way we can go about it is doing this integral twice, or we write it as a double integral. So we would have integral from 0 to a, the integral from 0 to a of x, and we're not going to call it x twice, it's about x, y. dy dx. And what we do is we do the inner integral first. So we're going to take the integral of y dy from 0 to a. And we're holding x constant. So the integral of y dy would just be 1 half y squared going from 0 to a. So this would be equal to the integral from 0 to a of x, and then we'll have 1 half y squared going from 0 to a dx. And, the, and this is just going to be a squared over 2. That's a constant. We can take it to the outside. So this would equal a squared over 2 times the integral from 0 to a of x dx. We know that's equal to a squared over 2. So this equals a squared over 2 times a squared over 2, or that's a to the fourth over four. So the way to get the integral squared is just perform the integral twice. And we're writing it now as, as a double integral, and we are integrating twice. Um, and that becomes this. We reviewed this because this is going to be critical now. For what we're going to do next, and that is consider this integral. Suppose we have the integral here. From 0 to infinity of e to the minus x squared dx. Could we solve this with a u to u substitution? What happens when we try? If we say, well, let u be equal to, say, x squared, then du equals. 2x dx. There is no x down here. So that's not going to work for us. And so here's the trick. You consider not this integral, but you consider the square of the integral. So i squared, that will be a double integral. Here's your integral, i squared will be the double integral of e 
to the minus x squared e to the minus y squared dy dx. Or we can write this as double integral we can multiply these together we would have e to the minus x squared plus y squared dy dx okay um, here this is where now the next part of the trick comes in if we had polar coordinates, x squared plus y squared, that would be r squared. And remember now how it works with polar coordinates. This is x, and this is y. Um, first of all, when we're considering these problems, we're operating only in the uh, first quadrant because x goes from 0 to infinity and y, which is really just a dummy x, that goes from 0 to infinity. So we're constrained to the first quadrant here and when you have polar coordinates then this is our, our position vector This would be theta, and this segment here, that is our d theta. And if we consider it like this, we draw it out that's our d theta. This is dr, and this little differential of area dA equals r d theta dr of this r dr d theta and in rectangular coordinates that's dy dx now why go through all this trouble okay Let's rewrite this in terms of polar coordinates. And we have I squared will equal a double integral. X squared plus Y squared, that's E to the minus R squared. DY DX, that's R DR D theta. R dr theta um, x and y go to infinity we start at zero so, so does r and as you explained before we're constrained here to the first quadrant so theta goes from zero to pi over two now hopefully looking at this integral here you might realize why this is worth all the trouble. Um, before we had I was in this form and we could not solve that when we tried our UDU substitution. Here we have our I squared written in polar coordinates and look what we have. We don't have e to the minus x squared, we have e to the minus r squared, but down here we have r dr here we didn't have any x dx. So this is a double integral. The first integral we have to solve is this one right here. And that we should be able to do. Before we were unable to do that. Okay, so we proceed along here. Um, let's see. Let's let Let r squared be equal to u. So 
two R D R will equal D U or one half D U equals R D R. That's this part of the integral. E to the minus R squared to be E to the minus U squared. So just considering this inner integral right here, um, if R goes from 0 to infinity, so does U. Let's see. This is going to become then the integral of 1 half E to the minus U du, or that would be minus one half. This is a minus sign here. E to the minus u, but u is this, so this is e to the minus r squared. Okay. Um, so let's go back and put this in here. We have enough room to work with. I squared that will equal the integral from 0 to pi over 2 and then we have minus 1 half e to the minus r squared where r goes from 0 to infinity d theta. And this will equal then the integral 0 to pi over 2. And here we will have minus 1 half times if r is infinity, that's 1 over infinity, so that's 0. Minus r is 0, that's 1. And then we have d theta. So this will be equal to 1 half. The integral of d theta is, is theta. And we're dividing from pi over 2 to 0. So this will be 1 half theta from 0 to pi over 2. And that will then be equal to just pi over 4. Okay, so where are we at? Um, we started with this integral. We took the square of it, transformed that into polar coordinates, work with that here, and we've determined that i squared is equal to pi over 4, which means that our original integral right here would be the square root of that. So this integral, let's see if we have something to write with. Let's make some space. This integral right here then is going to be equal to now pi over 4, but the square root of pi divided by 2. Okay, um, that was a bit lengthy. We're not quite finished yet because we wanted to consider this integral here, and we have found now an expression for this integral. So come back and join us in the next video, and we'll get this wrapped up.